Hello YouTube, Mike Wagman here, Mushroom Rangers. Back with the Mars attempt. So, as you can see, I have some mushrooms are growing. These aren't ready yet, I just put these in here. And I've been spraying it, it's kind of warm. You can see stuff starting to go. Hey, right, more kings. Now these kings. Are top fruiting. So as soon as I seen that they had little pins on the top. I cut the bag open. As you can see here. Put a paper clip on, sprayed them so that they get good humidity and air exchange. So, again, low tech, I just take it off. If I want it to breathe, I'll just let it breathe. As you can see, a bunch of baby kings. more baby kings and more baby kings and well some babies and some adolescents then I found out these king oysters Can you see the little ones right there? Yeah, They're, that's gonna turn into that. The reasons why I'm showing you this video is sometimes you may not even need a fruiting chamber. As you can see here, this isn't even fully colonized. See this part right here? It's not fully colonized. And a lot of the times, like this one, it's not fully colonized. So when you set up your cycles, you have to understand that, say you put five bags in there and you uh, inoculated them on the same date. And then a week and a half, two weeks, three weeks later, one's fully colonized, one's almost colonized and one's half colonized what you have to do is you can't say I'm gonna leave the one that's almost colonized until it's fully colonized and pull it out or the one that's halfway colonized oh, I'll just leave it no if you put five in you have to take five out because what it does it'll interrupt your cycles and as you can see that even if they're not 100% colonized, when the mycelium is ready, it will produce mushrooms. Well, you see that? That's not even colonized. But, it's pinning. You can see them little pins right there? So, you don't have to be pretty much on the mark. If you want to build succession, you set up a date, you inoculate on the same date, you pull from the same date, and then you initiate on the same date. Whether they're 100% colonized or 50% colonized, you have to pull that out of your inventory. Otherwise, your inventory is going to get messed up because... You're going to throw some blocks in there and wait a week. Oh, well, maybe I'll, I'll wait a week and maybe no. Pull it out. Put it in the fruiting chamber. Even if it only produces a couple mushrooms. Or a lot of mushrooms. This is how you keep your cycles going. Again, this is a good way. King oysters and black king oysters 
are the way to go if you don't have a fruiting chamber because you can fruit them right in the bag. See, this is this this is its own fruiting chamber. It creates a lot of humidity. The mushrooms grow up like they're supposed to. Again, I have this sitting in my window. I know I said about low light. But again, these things don't really need that much light. The, the, the traditional oysters like the blue oysters, the elm oysters, the Indian oysters, they need a lot of light because what will happen is this. They will get... like this their caps won't open up so you have a bunch of leggy mushrooms which again I don't care because I'm growing mushrooms to eat not for uh, aesthetics I'm growing them to eat so these will dry out nice they will nice they will make nice uh, mushroom jerky Again, if you're just starting out, people say I'll go for the easiest ones. Well, if you don't have enough, if you don't have enough air exchange or light, then you're not going to get the big massive shelves. You know, the ones that are just like whoop. So sometimes this is the way to go. When you're just first starting out, you just want to put a bag in and wait till you see when it's ready to fruit. Because it'll let you know when it's ready to fruit. Because I can tell you, look, it's ready to fruit. Now, second flushes is going to be a harder thing because once I harvest all of this, then I can rake all the mycelium off the top, sort of like uh, scalp it, fold it down, and then cut a slit on a side here and get a couple seat. Have them on the side right here. So they're pinning all over the place wherever there's a high concentration of humidity and CO2. I don't like the way that they're like a little fat on the bottom and a small little cap like a nipple. But we'll see what happens. So again, if you like this video, tell yourself, tell your friends like subscribe comment below blessed be and keep it fungi